Good morning, we're at the Miami-Dade Fire Rescue Training Center. I'm Captain Bill Gustin of the Training and Safety Division. We have with us members of our hazardous material response team, members of Engine Company 68 under the direction of Captain Robert Shepard. Captain Shepard, would you like to show us your anemometer that you brought with us? The man comes fully <laughs> equipped with an anemometer. So, the objective today is uh, something that was developed years ago by a fine veteran fire officer that I actually has an instructor, uh, Lieutenant Wayne Bunker. And he adapted this from the principles of ventilating a confined space that has no makeup air. So we are going to extend a duct made out of very thick plastic bag material that will be taped to one of the water operated fans and we will create through that duct a pressure from within through an upwind doorway and exhaust that pressure again from within to without pressure moves from areas of high pressure to low pressure we will make the fire area an area of high pressure the smoke will have a tendency to move to an area of low pressure outside. We've got the wind at our advantage. We've got a strong wind going out of the east today. The duct will be going into, the, our intake will be going into the swinging door. Our exhaust will be uh, the overhead door, which we will just partially open so you get a better effect of the, uh, the effectiveness of this technique. So, has been a while since we've done it. I know that it works and let's give it a try. These firefighters are gonna roll out this plastic tubing. It's actually plastic bag material. In this door, which is upwind of our exhaust opening, swinging door, intake, upwind of the overhead door, which will be our exhaust. Again, for the effects, we're just gonna partially raise the overhead door. They have a broom handle to roll us out. Once they reach the opposite wall, of, if we wanna call this the alpha side, then we'll call that the Charlie. When they reach Charlie, uh, this capable young man has his shears ready to go. They're gonna cut off the duct and uh, then they're going to stand by. We're going to start the fan. We, almost have, we only have a limited amount of smoke here. So we are going to get the fan started. And then I'm going to ask you fellas to partially, slowly raise the overhead door. <laughs> 